Hey, Hilti fans. Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to our next episode of Hilti Live. My name is Derek Mann, and I'm a marketing manager here for Hilti North America. I'm going to show you a couple tools today, but we're going to give everybody a couple minutes to join. And as we're waiting for that, I'm going to have, I have an assistant today, and I'm going to have Joe introduce himself while I'm grabbing a couple more tools, and then we'll get started. Hey, everyone. My name is Joe Walsh. I am a Hilti store rep in the Beltsville Hilti store here in Maryland. I've been a store rep for about 11 months now. Uh, I am in the ALP program and I graduated from Penn State uh, back in May. Uh, what I like about Hilti is really about the work culture. Uh, everyone's very nice here and very energetic. And the fact that Hilti is always innovating with their tools and coming out with new stuff. Thank you, Joe. And I also here today, so I'm actually, I'm on location today. I am in one of our 100 Hilti stores in North America. I am in Beltsville, Maryland. I actually, behind the camera, I have Cam and Isaac helping me. Um, so it's not just Joe here, but Joe's gonna do the demos for us while we go, we break some concrete here in a bit. So uh, while we get started, we're gonna talk first about the TE2000. Then we're gonna talk a little bit about the VC140, and then we're gonna finish off our discussion with the DSH600. So I'd like to start by talking about the 200. So this is, this 222 is a dual battery neuron tool. So you hear, I'll pull one out so you can see it, but today we have two of our 255 batteries in this tool, but this tool can run off of all four of the neuron batteries. It's compatible all sizes. Now to maximize runtime and efficiency, we're actually gonna use the two largest ones in here. Now this tool, the question I get a lot of times while I'm out in the field or when I'm talking to customers is, does this tool require two batteries? And the answer to that is yes. All of our, both of our, these two tools, the 2000 and our DSH 600 are dual battery tools and both of them require two batteries to run the tool. You can't run it with just one. Now, uh, this actually hits harder than the corded version of the TE2000. And part of the reason it's able to do that is because of that dual battery platform. So both of those batteries are able to give us more power than we actually get out of a 15 amp circuit. So because of that, that's why this tool hits harder. Now, the other benefit is, is with these two batteries in the tool, it is actually still under 40 pounds. So we're not sacrificing weight on that 2000 to give you that battery runtime. We also today will have our DRSB. This is a system that works with not just the cordless TE2000, the corded TE2000, the 1000, multiple tool, older generation uh, breakers that we may have. This allows you to take that breaking application and bring in a dust removal system and make you OSHA Table 1 compliant. The second tool we're gonna talk a little bit about is the VC140. So this is a two gallon, 140 CFM vacuum that runs off of one neuron battery. Again, today I'll have the 255 battery in it. This has an optional Bluetooth feature that allows you to turn it on by a button that you can put on the user, you could put on the tool, or you could put on the strap of the backpack if you're gonna wear it. Today we actually don't have that feature with us in this model, but that is something that can be added as well as not just for this vacuum, but also our VC-150s allow that feature. What you'll see us do is uh, once Joe puts that on, I'll turn it on for him. But with that Bluetooth feature, it's not a two-person application to help turn on the tool. The Bluetooth feature allows him, the end user, to turn it on when they're ready to use it and then turn it off rather than having to take the, take the vacuum off. Okay, so with that, what I'd like to do real quick is break a little bit of concrete. Joe, are you ready? I am ready. Okay, perfect. So Joe's going to put that vacuum on. I will turn it on for him. And then we're going to just break a little bit of concrete. So a lot of times when you're out there on your job sites, your concrete's going to look really nice or it's ready to be broken up. This is a slab we have in our store here. So it's been used for many things. You see, we have some of our chemical anchors in it. We drilled some holes in it. We've broken so far. Typically, this is where uh, our reps like Joe are showing customers some of the features. Uh, and showing you all, some of our fans, some of the features of the tools. So like I said, we have 100 stores in the United States and Canada. Feel free, go to Hilti.com or Hilti.ca to find the closest store to you. We have reps in those stores, like the three that are here with me today. They can help do demos like this and show you. So we've got some concrete. We have some holes in it already. Joe, you ready to do a little breaking? I am ready. All right, I'm going to get out of the way. I'm going to put my ear protection on. Hey, and Derek, go ahead. turn this on real quick? Yep, absolutely. Thank you.
All right. Nice. Go ahead, I'll turn you off. So great job. So as Joe comes down and jumps down here, we'll talk about a couple things. So if you noticed as he was going, that DRSB was collecting the dust that came out as we began to break there. It sucks it right up through the opening of the DRSB. We also were using our narrow flat wave chisel, which actually has grooves in it that allows you to get stuck less often in concrete. So there Joe was able to go right through. Now, Joe, let's talk, let's talk about feelings. How did the tool work? How did you feel while using that tool? The tool is very light. Um, it doesn't have a lot of vibration to it and it kind of, you kind of just let the tool do the work and it kind of showed for itself here. Okay. And then how about the vacuum? Was that heavy? To, was it heavy? Was it loud in your ears or things like that? The vacuum wasn't too loud and it's not very heavy. Kind of reminded me just carrying a couple book bag, a couple books around in a book bag around school. Okay, very nice. So this is a this vacuum doesn't need to fit into this backpack. The backpack is an optional accessory, but think about this application. Traditionally, while we're trying to demo uh, demo an area, right? You're trying to break with concrete in an area and you're trying to do it with a dust removal system. You currently are using one set of cords to run the tool and one set of cords to run the vacuum. Well, right now what we do is we don't eliminate one of those cords, we eliminate both cords. We bring you a fully cordless system and give it OSHA Table 1 compliant dust removal. Okay, so that's awesome. So great job, Joe. Thank you for showing that. Now what we're going to do, I'm, Joe, I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you one of these. I'll actually give you the lighter one. So now we're going to highlight the DSH 600. So today, unfortunately, since I was traveling to get here, I don't have the water hookup ready to go. So we aren't going to cut inside here. But I will talk a little bit about this tool, some of the features, and I will uh, run it so you can hear how quiet it actually is compared to a gas cell. So we do have onboard water here, right? And later this year, we will have a water tank on Neuron that will allow you to run uh, pressurized water through this tool off of a battery. So you don't have to worry about running water from another source that needs someone or something actually running it. It will run off of a battery. That hooks directly into this tool and it runs right through and gives you water onto the blade itself. Now, the other thing, this blade, this setup here I have to maximize performance. I have two 255 batteries in it. And this actually weighs 22 pounds with a blade and everything on it, which is, yes, a little heavier than a gas saw. But I will say why it is better than a gas saw. This is a 12 inch setup, but it gives you a four and three quarter inch cut which is the same that you traditionally get out of a 14 inch gas saw. And we also are able to run this with maximum power coming out of these batteries. So let's talk about how a gas saw starts. You run into all kinds of issues on a regular basis with gas saws. And I'm sure you can put in the comments some of those issues you run into when it comes to gas saws. But think of starters, think of pull cords, think of spark plugs, think of bad gas. All of that goes away with Neuron. We bring you this saw, you turn this tool on, you pull a trigger, and it starts. Now, for safety purposes, it also has a blade break to it. So inside of eight seconds, that blade will stop, unlike many gas saws that are out on the market. So let's say we're cutting all day, every day, we're cutting a lot, right? And we need to maximize that performance. I have a 22 pound option here with the two largest batteries. But what I have Jeff holding here, I just Joe. called you Jeff. What I have Joe holding here is a lighter setup. So let's say this isn't a job stopper tool for you. You make a couple cuts, right? And then it goes back into the gang box. You can actually use this off with any of the four batteries. But if you use it with the smaller batteries, you use it with the 170 batteries, you actually now have a 19 pound tool, which is lighter than a gas saw filled with gasoline. And you also get very similar runtime out of gas. So let's talk about that. So if I'm running off of two 255 batteries, the large batteries, I run this saw with two of these, run it all the way down to dead. And then I run two more all the way down till the fully out of charge. You get 20% more runtime than you get out of a full tank of gas. Now with that 170, traditionally what we see with the same four battery setup, so two 170 batteries run all the way down, two more 170 batteries run all the way down, 
you are getting the same amount of performance and runtime that you would get out of a traditional gas saw. Okay, so depending on what's most important to you, runtime and performance, so the longevity of it, or the weight, we have an option that can work really well for you in Neuron. So the last thing, you can go ahead and put that down. Thank you, sir. And I didn't mean to call you Jeff. That was totally <laughs> accidental. So I wouldn't be doing these three justice that helped me out today if I didn't take a moment to talk about this last little feature that I really love about Neuron. So I have the ability to go around. I cover the East Coast. I go around and talk to a lot of customers, and I'm able to show them things. But I also want to take a chance to make sure I make the life easier for some of our Hilti people. So this battery, what we've added into Neuron is something that is first in the industry. So we actually, anytime you have a battery that you feel isn't performing the way it should, we now have the ability to check that. And I don't mean we as in Hilti, I mean we as in the person using the actual battery. So while you're holding this battery, you actually can just hold this button down and this will run a diagnostic on the battery itself. So three second hold, and you actually will run back and it will tell you whether this battery is working the way it should. So I have a green light here. That means I'm gonna have an optimal battery. It means I'm good. But if that light would have been yellow, that means it's either too cold or it's too hot and you need to adjust and allow that battery time to either get into a working range from either being too hot or too cold. Now here's the part that's really fun. Red, if you get a red light, that means your battery is no longer optimal. And at Hilti, we are all about productivity. So we, mean, we know we don't want that battery out there being used because it's not productive for you anymore. So if you are a fleet and on-track customer, we will actually proactively replace that battery for you. So we would send you an email and tell you that this battery is not working the way it should. Here is a new one coming your way. And there's a return label for you to send us this one back so we can properly recycle it because it's not working like it should. Now, let's say, for example, you purchase tools from us and you're under our 22-in-1 warranty. So for two years, we cover all wear and tear on all tool, battery, and charger. So if that's the case and you run into a scenario when you run that diagnostic that you have a red light, you actually use your smartphone and the Hilti app, hit the back of the phone onto the battery, and you do a couple more steps. You actually can have that battery sent to you seamlessly but you do a little bit of work. So for our fleet and on-track customers, we do it for you. For you, uh, under the 22 and one, there's a couple steps that you have to go through. But it helps make the process much easier than it's ever been in the past. Look, I'm really excited about these three tools. This is, I'm responsible for concrete, masonry, uh, and a few other trades here at Hilti. I cannot wait to tell everybody that wants to hear about these tools about them. But I, they may not be your favorite tools on Neuron. So I would love for you to put in the chat, put in the comments below, what is your favorite tool so far with Neuron? What is your favorite feature? What do you like the most? Um, we use all kinds of customer touch points like this, uh, all kinds of feedback from you to help our next generation and things that will be coming out, improvements we can make. So go ahead, give us your honest opinions, give us your feedback, let us know, and we will get back to you. Okay, so with that, my name's Derek Mann. I'm one of the marketing managers here in, in Hilti North America, and I'm going to sign off for Hilti Live this week. Joe, I really want to help you for doing that. Thank you for doing all the heavy lifting. I know you said it wasn't that heavy, but you did do all this, so I appreciate it. And with that, I will say goodbye to everybody. So thanks, and I hope you will join us again in two weeks for our next Hilti Live session.